We're on the northern part of the Sonoma coastline here at Goat Rock. We're on a beautiful stretch of wild coast that's open to the public with trails that stretch all the way down the coastline you can see for miles almost down to San Francisco. And what makes it special is that you don't have to go that far to feel like you're on the edge of the world. It's kind of the first point of access for a lot of people to experience the wild coastline. Um, and that's been the result of a lot of decades of work to protect the access to the coastline and keep it as wild and rugged as it is. We have a lot of work from activists like Bill Cordon. There's a trail here called the Bill Cordon Trail. The CR Club wanted the state parks to name the trail the Cordon Trail in honor of all of the work that Bill did. This guy almost single-handedly saved the county. I mean, from, I mean, he just did so much. He founded the Sonoma County Conservation Action Group, which is still active. He was a co-founder of the Sonoma Land Trust, which is extremely successful. He and his wife dreamed up the idea of a coast walk, although they had no idea that it was going to continue on for 30 years. Bill Cordon is a, an environmental legend here in Northern California. His first big battle was around the nuclear power plant, stopping that from being built on Bodega Head. And one of the biggest battles that continues to rage that he was really instrumental was protecting access to our coast. Bill Cordon was a wonderful visionary. Uh, he lived in Sonoma County. While he was a veterinarian by day, by weekend, he could see that development pressures were extremely high in Sonoma County. And he felt that there was no choice but for him to get involved in trying to um, control and shape future development because it was inevitable that some lands would be developed, but that as those lands develop, that the public would have the opportunity to get to and use the California shoreline or the California tidelands. He's an inspiration because he was just an average guy. He wasn't trained or, you know, a fancy lawyer or anything. He was just an everyday guy who would go to city council, who would write his representatives, who would call, he would show up, he'd get his neighbors involved, and he would bring awareness to issues. And I think that's the big thing is a lot of um, environmental degradation can happen really quickly and without anybody really knowing. And so having that watchful eye and that loudspeaker to kind of raise the flag was crucial. The Cordum Trail is a part of the Coastal Trail. What I love about the Bill Cordum Trail is it's very accessible to everyone. Um, you can drive right up to the access point and it's right along the coastline. So you are right on the cliff and you can kind of look down and see the waves um, pounding and you can look out and see the spouts from the whales. Um, and there's a lot of wildflowers. You can see it's kind of a low brushland. So you can see for a long ways um, and it's dotted by little rolling hills. So you can kind of jump off and climb up a little hill and there's amazing viewpoints um, along it as well. Um, and up north, uh, you can actually go to the Russian River and see the tip where the Russian River is actually coming out. Right there is the mouth of the Russian River. What I think makes this coastline so special is that there's no cell service. And in today's day and age of being digitally connected to everyone all the time, it's kind of unique to have to give that up and entertain yourself out here. Um, there's a quote that I really like that says, boredom is the first step towards being aware and present. And being out here is not having YouTube, is not having your music. It's just listening to the wind. It's listening to the birds. It's listening to the waves and it's entertaining yourself um, just with your two feet and miles and miles of trail.